Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now. Well, this main event, a very intriguing clash at £147. Lewis Crocker quickly becoming a little bit of a flag bearer for Belfast Boxing right now, up against Jose Felix. Jose, of course, came over and broke Irish hearts when he beat Gary Cully in Dublin. We know what he can do when he's at his best. Frank Smith, let's come to you first. When you're looking at at fights, and we keep talking about hard fights, as I say, we saw what Jose Felix can do when he beat Gary Cully. What do you like about this main event? Yeah, look, you know, Lewis obviously showed in December on that Michael Conlon undercard. He's got a massive future, and we've seen great nights in Belfast here over the years, whether it be Carl Frampton, Mick Conlon, Ryan Burnett, and this is Lewis's opportunity now to step on into those big nights. Uh, I think, you know, with Jose, we saw when he fought Gary Cully what he can do, and looking at the pictures of him yesterday, he looks like he's coming here to fight. You know, and it also... I have to say well done to both these guys because it was made on late notice and that's you know that's key for this sport is working with professionals who are ready to go who are in the gym non-stop both of these guys are and I think it's a brilliant fight and it's the kind of fight Lewis needs to step on but Jose's not coming here to you know to lay down. Lewis um, I mean you look at what Eddie's been saying he's been comparing Lewis to uh, Gennady Golovkin absolutely no pressure whatsoever Lewis on, on, on that work. front that's a, that's a brilliant compliment but in terms of the boxes he's ticking right now, I mentioned about being a flag bearer. What boxes is he ticking right now as a 26-year-old up-and-coming star for Matram and Design? Well, look, he's young and he's in a market where there's a love and a passion for boxing. You know, we hadn't been to Belfast for a long, long time, but you know, obviously came back here with, with, with Mick in December. And like I say, this is Lewis's chance because he's in a, a place where people talk about boxing. It's great to come somewhere where people, you know, cab drivers, everyone's talking about the boxing at the weekend because you don't get that everywhere. And he's got that perfect opportunity to, to recreate those sold-out nights at, at the, uh, in Belfast. Obviously, we're at Ulster Hall. It's going to be a tremendous atmosphere on Saturday. But this is his chance. He's got the personality and he's got the skills and ability. And, you know, he needs a big performance on Saturday night. But this can really set him off for massive fights in 2024 and beyond and sort of take that leading position in Belfast boxing. Off the back of that, then, it must be a little bit of squeaky bum time when you've got someone like Felix who can punch as hard as he does. Uh, he's already ripped up the script once. Uh, you'll be sat there a little nervous, I can imagine, Saturday night. Yeah, look, 100%. You know, we saw against Gary Cully. You know, look, that was Gary Cully's coming out party, really, to, you know, take the, the reins of Dublin boxing back then in, in May. Um, there was a lot of pressure on him, but uh, Jose Felix came here. Again, he came to win that night, and he's going to come to win on Saturday night. But it's the kind of fights we need to see. You need to see fights where people are coming to win um, because it does, nothing, you know, it does nothing for Lewis's career, bringing someone over who's got no intentions to come and get the win. You know, this is the perfect fight for him. Lewis Crocker, great to see you. You told me that you were halfway for a kebab when you got the call to fight uh, here, headliner in Belfast. I guess when you think about ticking boxes and what dreams are made of how much does this appeal to you this week and Saturday night oh amazing um, amazing to be back in Belfast so soon again um, headlighting this time um, obviously last month the atmosphere in, in the city was amazing fight week was, was great fight night was great um, so to be doing it again so soon on real against a, a very dangerous opponent as well you know as, as I say is coming off a win with, with Gary Cully um, he looked very good in that fight very strong so I'm expecting fireworks on Saturday you touched on the show uh, last month. It was incredible. Your performance was incredible. Uh, it was brutal. How do you grade your own performance that night? Um, I, because it was Belfast be Belfast, A star. Do you know what I mean? It has to be. <laughs> like, that, that meant everything to me. It was the, the prey thing. I said that during, during the fight. Um, as long as I got the victory, it, it would have been A star regardless. So um, to come through... Um, you know, to, to do what I did in front of my friends, my family and stuff, um, it, it was amazing. And it put me on the map, so it did. So um, everything went well. And I remember we watched that fight back together, didn't we, in, in mm-hmm. the build-up to the fight in, in Billy Nelson's living room. And it, it, you just got the feeling, Lewis, when you were watching it, that it gave you the same goosebumps when they were reading out the decision. What's it done in just giving you a taste of, of what is there for you? And I guess the only person standing in the way now is, is yourself. Yeah, that's it. Like, with, with the platform of, of Matrim and... 
the zone and stuff now. Like everything's so different, you know. Um, going into the fight week last time, I realised like this is this is the big stage, like so to to put on a good performance and they have obviously confidence in me. They, they set me up, me an event the next month again, like so as I want to do. Um, I, want, I want to continue. I'm not looking past Jose Felix, but um, big statement and sorry puts me on for a big year. Is it another case of seek and destroy when you look at Felix? First ball goes centre of the ring and tries to inflict damage. I think it's the same with, with every fighter I'm going to fight. You know what I mean? That's that's the mentality that, and that's the fighter that I am. And and I th- I'm expecting an exciting fight because I think he's all going with, this, with the same mindset. And when we we talked about the the Tara and McKenna fight, you know that was the battle of Belfast, and there was so much pride on the line, and that's why the victory meant so much to you and why defeat was unimaginable. Mm. But when you look at this one, is there a different sense of pride as well in front of your friends, your family, your people? No room for error here for you on Saturday, Lewis. No, of course. Actually, it, it, this is a more dangerous fight um, than the McKenna one. Um, but with the McKenna one, I think there was just there's more pressure, maybe mentally. Um, but, you know, there's just as much as at stake with each and every fight. And as I say, it's like, he'll be full of confidence with, with the Gary Cully win and we looking to have another upset in Ireland. Well, let's bring in the challenger, Jose Felix, as well. Once again, with our trusty translator, the best in the business, Kieran Simpson down there. Jose, welcome back. Main event. Uh, we saw you, of course, on the zone. You, you rematched Sandal Martin in the main event. You, you had a, that big win against Gary Cully. You've been involved in big fights, but coming back to Ireland, how strong is the, the motivation, the self-belief to spoil the party and break some hearts once again? Bienvenido en primer lugar. Um, te hemos visto ya, ahora, de main event aquí en, en Irlanda. Te hemos visto ya pelear contra eh, Sandor Martín. Tuviste la pelea con Gary Cooley. Eh, obviamente es una gran oportunidad para ti. Pero ¿y ¿Cuántas ganas tienes y cuánta confianza tienes de que puedes arruinar la fiesta y romper los corazones irlandeses una vez más? Bueno, pero no, primero que nada, muchas gracias a toda la gente. Gracias a Dios. Gracias a, a Mushroom por por seguir tercos en, en quererme, quererme probar. Quiero demostrar, me quiero dar la gracia también a Paco, a Paco Damián, que es el que se ha encargado de todo. Quiero dar las gracias a, a toda la gente que me ha apoyado acá en Irlanda. Tengo, tengo más seguidores en Belfast que en México, gracias a Dios. Entonces, esta será una, una pelea interesante contra... Ellos solamente piensan en la pelea de Cooley, es lo único que están pensando, pero yo he estado en grandes peleas. Esta pelea me preparé bastante bien. Contra Cooley me preparé para dar el peso nada más, porque me hicieron bajar a 37 libras, yo soy 40. Ahora me hicieron subir a 47. Es parte del show, pero ahora me, ahora me entrené mucho mejor porque no estuve batallando, batallando para el peso. Me entrené para ganar esta pelea y verme... Mejor que nunca para que Eddie Hertz tenga la nave estrella del boxeo en México. Right, Kieran, show us why you're the best in the business. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say thank you uh, to all the people that are gathered here. I want to say thank you to God. Also, Matchroom for continuing to give me these opportunities. Also, Paco, who manages everything for me. I also have to thank the people of Ireland for the support. It's almost as if I have more supporters in Belfast than I do in Mexico now, so I thank God for that also. Um, and I'm very interested. I think this fight will be a real, really interesting fight because when I fought Cully, it was a real battle for me to get down to that weight. So I was the, the main battle I had was with making weight more than anything. This time I'm fighting at 147. I'm much more prepared, and I'm hoping to put on a better show this time so that Eddie Hearn gets to see me win and gets to see that I'm the new star of Matchroom. Jose, you've obviously seen your opponent box physically very strong, punches very hard. We see against Cully that you can move, you can box, and you can also punch. How do you approach this fight? Sí, sabemos que tu oponente es fuerte, es muy físico, eh, pega también muy fuerte, tiene mucha pegada, pero vimos en tu pelea con Gary Cully que sabes mover también, que sabes boxear. ¿Cómo, ¿Cuál es la propuesta para esta pelea? ¿Cómo lo vas a enfrentar? Sí, como te, comento, como te comenté hace ratito, eh, contra Cully me preparé para dar el peso, me sentía débil en la pelea, pero esta vez pues, el peso no, no va a ser un problema, entonces trabajé sin pensar en la báscula y eso es una gran ventaja. Eh, si, si mi rival va a cargar el peso y va a querer estar sobre mí, pero tengo la mochila llena de trucos. Ya le dije a Eddie Hens, no quiso entender. Esperemos vengo por otro invicto aquí en Irlanda. 
Yeah, as I said before, I just said recently, um, my main problem or my main battle for that first fight against Cully was making the weight. Um, this time, there won't be this issue, that there won't be this pressure to make the weight. My, my battle was with the scales on that occasion. Uh, but this time, I think that will work to my advantage. I know my opponent will try to use that weight for me, uh, against me, in, in the way that he can. But I'm, I'm sure that I can go on and get this victory uh, on Saturday night um, and put on a good show. Do you think, Lewis, do you think he's going to try and hold the centre of the ring? Do you think that's a, a silly game plan or do you think he'll move? No, well, I think he, he will hold the centre of the ring. Do you know what I mean? He's sounding confident and he's, he's good, good shape. You see him with the, the photos yesterday and um, he says with the weights and ammunition and stuff this time. So, yeah, I can, I can see it being toe-to-toe -to -toe from the bell. And in terms of predictions, Lewis, what do you see being the final moments of this fight on Saturday? Uh, me with my arm raised, that's the, that's the main thing. And for you, Jose, final word to, to the people of Belfast. You, you've been to Ireland, as I say, you did it in Dublin. The final message from yourself and, and to people watching back home, what do you promise them? Sí, un mensaje final para la gente. Ya lo hiciste una vez en Dublín, un mensaje final para, para la gente que te va a estar viendo allí eh, en sus casas. Estén atentos, estén atentos. No pierdan eh, detalle de la pelea porque... Ustedes saben que Crocker pega fuerte, yo pego fuerte, los fuegos artificiales estarán 100% en el ring. Será una gran pelea, una gran pelea y quiero me quiero quiero a esta ciudad y a este país porque son como son como mexicanos, la gente siempre quiere apoyar y estoy agradecido con todos. So what I'd say is, you know, don't take your eyes off this fight. Don't. You know that uh, Crocker hits hard. I hit hard too. I think it will be a great fight. You know, I love this city. I, I love these people. I feel like Mexico, and I feel like I've got the support. So I'm very, very grateful to the people here. Gents, this fight has been called The Danger Zone. It's live this Saturday on The Zone. Your main event, ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Crocker versus Jose Felix. Ten rounds in a very intriguing fight, boys. Thanks for joining us. We'll bring you up for the head-to-head -head now. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook. Get a sign up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now.